and the payments to deposit, this 540870, when we make a deposit, I should be able to pull those two in and group them together, those two sales receipts, so that I can move it out of the undeposited funds into the checking account in one group movement so that it's in the checking account in the same format as I expect it to be seen on the bank statement or through the bank feeds, making the reconciliation easy. So let's do that now. Let's go to the first tab. Now we're just, it's the end of the day. We're taking our money that we got from the cash register. Everything checks out from the cash register to our sales. And we're gonna go ahead and move on, shuffle on over to the bank, make the physical deposit into the bank, which is gonna be the combination of the sales we made for the day from the cash register that are the cash sales. And so if I go into here, then I'm gonna deposit these together uh, at this point in time. And so notice it gives us this nice little thing up top. If I was making some other kind of deposit, I would go down here and deposit to a particular account. But the sales receipts are populating up top. If I put them in the bank at the same time, I'm gonna make one deposit of 4,508.70. I know that's a lot for cash, but the credit cards would work, or would work kind of the same. And so I'm just getting the idea here of what you need to do to get the reconciliations to work. So let's go ahead and save and close that. This is gonna increase the checking account for the dates, correct? And the other side is gonna take the money out of that undeposited funds like account, which is the, the uh, payments to be deposited is what they call it. So let's go to run and in the checking account now, if we check out the checking, we should then have the deposit. There's the one deposit showing as a, as a lump sum which is what we want to see because that's what's going to be on the bank statement. Notice it's also increasing with a deposit form, not with like a sales receipt form. If I entered the sales receipt directly into the checking account, it would have another form in here for an increase rather than just all deposits being the increase form. Not a big deal if you want to use that method, but you got to be kind of aware of that if you're going to sort your data to look for increases in the checking account when the increases are not all simply deposits. And then the, the payments to deposit has gone back down to zero. That's what a clearing account does. Not a temporary account, mind you. Temporary accounts like income statement accounts, income and expense go back to zero after you close out. But that happens on a cyclical method like yearly or monthly. This is going up or down based on when whatever we used it for is done, which is usually a shorter range of time. It increases when we make the sale and, and goes back to zero when we make the deposits. So that is that one.